Welcome to the homework for first grade. Module 1, this is lesson 20. Get your name right here. And then after that we're going to work on number sentences. Color the larger part. And complete the number bond. Then write the number sentence, starting with the larger part. If you practice this um, for counting up, when you have a number sentence, or two numbers you're adding together, if you're going to count up to solve the addition, the easiest way to do it is start with the larger number first, and then count up the smaller number. And I'll give you an example of what that is. Um, it's just because it's easier because you don't have to count up as much. So start with the big number first and then count up afterwards. So if we're adding, so here's the example right here. Is if we have a total of four with parts of one and three. Start with the larger of the two parts is the three. You know, I only have to count up one more. Three, four. That's okay. That was one more and my total was four. So it's just, it, it makes it easier if you're counting up to just whatever you see for an expression. Start with the larger number first, and then count the smaller number, and that'll get you your total. That's the easiest way to do it. And we're just kind of practicing that, writing it down in that order, and thinking about it, doing it that way. So we're used to doing that in our heads. So here we have uh, two. We have a two here, and three pencils. So our number bond color the larger part. That's going to be the pencils. Right? Because there's three of them. So, finish the number bond. Two and three more. That's two, three, four, five, five. But, it's easier if you start with the three first, right? Because that's the larger part. But these are the two parts, the two and the three. So, start with a three, it's easier, a little bit easier to count up three, four, five, that's two more, four, six, five. All right, so number two, we have seven things in a shopping bag and two more on a plate, so our parts are seven and two. And you can count it up, you might already know, the total is nine. So we're going to write our number sentence. The larger part first, that's the 7. Right? So our two parts are 7 and 2. Those are our add-ins. So we're going to add the 7 first and then think 7, 8, 9. That's the 2. And 9 is our total. It's a lot easier than starting at 2 and counting up 7 more. So it's 7, 8, 9, 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 8. It's a lot more counting. So now we have, uh, they give us, now we don't have the pictures anymore for number three. We just have the number bonds. We're still doing the same thing, though. We've got six. We've got parts of six and one. That's one more than six. That's seven. It's easier to think of one more than six than it is to think of six more than one, isn't it? That's the whole idea. So that even if you saw a number sentence that said one plus six, you might just think of it as six plus one more, right? So... Larger part first, smaller part, total. Number four, we have our two parts. Our total, large part first, larger one, the four goes first, then the two. So that way you're thinking four, you're thinking four, five, six, six, instead of two, three, four, five, six. It's easier to count up if you start from the larger number. That's all this is. So we've got 5 and 3. Those add up to 8. And uh, you can pause the video and go ahead and finish the rest of them. Uh, and, and then just watch the rest of the video and check your answers. Make sure you got them. Maybe you don't have to check them. Maybe you think you have it. So let's see. 5 plus 3. Larger part first. Now, 
Uh, when they're, sometimes you're the same, right? It's a double, right? You maybe already know your doubles. We've been practicing. We've seen 4 plus 4 a lot in our homework. So hopefully you remember that one. And you don't have to count it up anymore. But it's okay if you still have to count it up. 4 plus 4 is 8. And now we have 5 and 4. And so if 4 plus 4 is 8, we have 5 plus 1 more than 4, right? So it should be 1 more than 8. Our total should be 1 more than 8. That's 9. So we think of that as a doubles plus 1. And you're going to see stuff like that coming up soon. You're going to see a lot more. That's just another way to use doubles. So we have large part first, 5, then the 4, and it adds up to 9. 